your number one source for local news. News Channel 3. Hey everyone, meteorologist Austin Onik from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. A few scattered showers across the Mid-South this afternoon, but otherwise not really looking at too much out there for now. Unfortunately, over the next several days, we may be looking at the possibility of even more chances of rainfall and could be some heavier amounts of rainfall out there as well possibly leading to some flash flooding in the area the National Weather Service is going to be keeping a very close eye on the situation as will we could be some potential problems for outdoor activities so if you have any plans for outdoors please keep it tuned to News Channel 3 and we'll keep you advised on that severe weather chances for today not that much going on we'll be looking again for a potential of stronger weather back up into the northern plain states but outside of some thunderstorms it does not look to be a major widespread threat for the Mid-South area. So any potential severe weather doesn't appear to be a problem at this time. We'll keep you updated on that. Across the country, things are decently quiet, dry, which means high fire danger out west, and also looking again at the possibility of seeing some more heat in the Mid-South area, expecting to see some very hot conditions across much of the Mid-South, and that is why the National Weather Service has posted the heat advisory in effect until later on this evening. Thanks to the clouds and hopefully some more rainfall out there, we'll be getting into some Hopefully quieter conditions across much of the area, but it is still going to be steamy out across the Mid-South, so please use caution exercising or working outdoors. National Hurricane Center showing things quiet on the East Coast, the Gulf Coast, and down into the Caribbean, and also into the next five days, so not seeing any major concerns out there for the Mid-South. The Perseid Meteor Shower is going to be taking place the next couple of days, but we may see, again, the potential for some shower and thunderstorm activity as we get into the evening hours tonight and over the next several days, which means it's going to be difficult to see anything there. The International Space Station and Tiangong-1 will be seen from fairly bright flyovers, or at least bright enough if we could actually see them, information courtesy of Space Weather and their app on there. So taking a look again across parts of the Mid-South, may be able to see it depending on conditions out there. Stay tuned. News Channel 3 will keep you updated on that. Give my Twitter page a follow at Aonic underscore WREG3. And also, again, don't forget to check in for the latest in weather information and video blog handy dandy download format. If you'd like to know more, just go to WREG.com slash weather and click on Weather Overtime. It's our online video weather blog. Great opportunity for you to get updated on what's going on across the Mid-South on your schedule. And we'll be keeping you updated on the approaching possible soggy weather over the next several days. Don't forget also to keep it tuned to News Channel 3 tomorrow morning as I'll be on the air in place of Todd Demers and throughout the rest of the weekend as well. And we'll be keeping you updated on what's going on throughout the weekend on news and sports with Mike Sadie and, of course, with all of our other anchors as well. So stick around for more on that. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. More coming up on News Channel 3's Weather Overtime. Join us at wrg.com weather for more on that and more coming up tonight on News Channel 3. So stay tuned.